All right, hello, hello, everybody. We are down here at the Space Center yes, in Houston. We're with the one and only Adrian Lil. If you're in Houston, Texas, make sure you follow Adrian Lil on LinkedIn. Um, <laughs> seriously, this is like there's a title of number one networker in America, and I'm dubbing Adrian the number one networker in Houston. Well, I don't know. I would be a close second to you. Okay, right well, I'm dawning you. <laughs> but, um, you all, I'm so excited to speak to Adrian today and to just shine a light on him because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a little touchy here, but Adrian, I met you at a cup of joy. We did. At the beginning of the year. And I want anybody who may be sitting there right now, you're in transition in your life, you're about to start something, and you may be thinking, like, you're not sure of where it'll go, but you just need some motivation to get out there. This is your guy. I'm not Adrian when he's Mr. Uh, SMTA, Mr. Alert Tech. You were just starting at Alert Tech. Yes. And you were stepping out on the limb. I was. And you were gaining. So tell us more about that time, Adrian. Just like what that was like. Because now everybody knows you. Now you got Alert Tech buzzing. But most people don't know that it's a risk. It did. It did. So, um, you know, during COVID, like a lot of people, you know, income, you know, job security was a big question mark for me. Um, the board blessed me with a customer, Alert Tech SMT. I went to go visit them. I liked what I saw, and they were like, hey, Adrian, we need somebody to help us grow our business. I said, Paul, they said, who do you know? I said, well, um, you need somebody who's from Houston, <laughs> that knows the industry, know that's right. Sell yourself. that knows manufacturing. I'm describing myself. When can I start? And so, you know, like I said, Lord bless, and the, the company's great. You know, it's a, it's a small business. I love small business. They're family owned. The mom is the CEO. She's also a veteran. Wow. And so it was like, you know, for government contracts, you have to collect boxes. Well, for me, they clicked almost every box I wanted to work for a company. Wow. And so uh, one of the things I talked to them, I said, hey, look, I want to join your, your, your team, wow. but I also want to support what's going on in Houston. They said, go do it. And so, wow. like Carl Marie says, you know, every Friday we show up the iron, her and I are actually connected. Yes. We've been supporting each other throughout the several months we've been friends. Yes. And I do mean friends, not just, you know, all people I know. You know, I love this woman, I love her family, I love what she's doing for the city. So, so, you know, and you come to Cup of Joy. Do I come to Cup of Joy to find customers? No. But customers find me because they like the fact that we are building here in Houston, right. we're manufacturing here in Houston, That's right. and we're manufacturing for companies that need low to mid volume. You can go get manufacturing overseas, and they will build a million pieces, but it's it's a box in, box out. We invite the customers in. They come, and sometimes they even have their own desk there. Wow. You know, and so. And that's what, that's what I'm I want to make sure you all got the link to this incredible locally owned business that is obviously family operated and oriented. But I want to make sure that you got those jewels because what Adrian just said is that he put himself out there, that he was meeting with a client. He wasn't even, that wasn't a formal interview, right? right? That was him believing in himself building relationships and so this is what cup of joey is all about shout out to joey sanchez but it's about purposeful people putting themselves in the room right. and trusting that if they just move in alignment with who they are what they desire as adrian said the customers will come to you so and be real don't don't try to put you know authentic there you go. There you authentic. Go. <laughs> just be real be yourself because then you don't want to, you know, people say, oh, you know, are you a salesman? Yeah, that's my official title. But you know what? I'm just out there to help. Right. Father Marie's out there to help. Right. You know, we're we're here in Houston. She came to Houston as quick as she came. I'm born here. I love seeing what's going on in Houston. Yes. We are growing. We are the most diverse city, the biggest diverse city. Bam. You know, and that is not a negative. That's Sorry, a New York. <laughs> <laughs> so tap so, into... You know, you hear, you know, here in Cup of Joy, we say, what's your why? So what gets you out of bed? You know, for Paul Marie and myself, I could probably say our why is our children, right? Right. Well, you know, my we, why is breathing. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> yes, so, helping other people be excited about breathing. And so, you know, if you can if you can tap into what your why is, if everybody is different, right. step out there, step out in faith, step out with confidence, and then you never know what the future will hold. 
but I bet it's going to be great. Beautiful. Well, Adrian, I just want to thank you so much again. Thank you for bringing us all down. This is my first time to the Space Center in Houston. Like, thank you for bringing us here. Thank you for getting out there and just so many people like you. They're untouchable. They're not relatable. You're scared to talk to the Adrian Reels. You know, you're scared to talk to that person that's at all those tables on LinkedIn, but you just make everybody feel so warm. You bring that Texas Southern gentleman to us all, and we appreciate you. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank God you so you. much. God bless you. Stay in touch, Houston, and stay connected.